I knew I was going to call it Mystic River two years before I wrote Mystic River. I remember being out with a Boston writer <laughs> saying, and we were actually at a tributary of the Mystic River. We were in Charlestown, and and I looked out. He was talking about titles, and I looked out, and I looked out at the river, and I said, I got the greatest fucking title of all time. And he was like, what is it? I'm like, I'm not telling you. Like, I'm not telling anybody. But I knew that was a great title. I knew it. Like, it was a great feeling. My best friend, Bubba, uh, his name was Bubba. It really was. Uh, we finally had a fight. And and it drew the entire neighborhood. I think it was seventh grade. Might have been sixth. I don't know. We finally had a fight. We had been best friends since we were six. And we had this Donnybrook. And it started at, like, my school. And then it went all the way down Columbia Road. And then it went up this huge hill where we always stood. And at some point, well, it was the top of the hill. We came up to the top of the hill. And we are beating the shit out of each other. And there was a fucking crowd everywhere. And whoop, whoop, this police car pulls up. And they said, what are you guys doing? Stop it. Everybody clear up. And we said, okay, officers. And they left. And then we started beating the hell out of each other again. And they came back. And this time they were pissed. And they said, what did we tell you? Get in the car. And we get in the car. And they drove Bub home. And then they drove me home. And it was only a few blocks. I get out of my house. I get inside. My mother's had just been looking out the window. She said, who was that? I said, that was the police. And she said, what? What did they pull you? What, what did they drive you home for? I said, me and Bob were fighting. And she goes, you got two kids fighting and the police show up? What? And I was like, yeah. And then she said, what were their badge numbers? Which I had been trained to look for since I was a little kid. And I said, I don't know. And it was the look on her face. I never forgot it the rest of my life. She was stricken because we were street smart kids and we were taught on any number of levels to never trust authority never we're an immigrant culture Immig cops aren't usually friends to immigrants and so we in that moment failed we panicked just we did we wilted under the appearance of authority now those guys turned out they were cops so everything was cool but I think for the rest of my life, I thought, what if, what if, what if? I never forgot that look on my mother's face. I mean, I just never, it was a look probably my kids have seen since. My daughter probably saw it one time when she got lost in a park for five minutes. And when I first, when I finally found her again, she probably saw that look on my face. But it's the look of a parent realizing how close you can come to losing everything. And I thought that's, that's the book. What happened with Jimmy was uh, originally the book was supposed to be you know, Sean, 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 Sean. I was writing it for, I, don't, I feel like around eight months when I thought, what is wrong with this book? And then it just wasn't, it didn't have heat. It wasn't going anywhere. And then I said, you're writing about the wrong guy. And you're writing about you, which is Sean. It had a lot of very similarities. It had a lot of similarities to me. It was the most autobiographical character I think I've ever written. and. I thought, right, I'm fucking boring. I mean, I am. I got a great imagination, but I'm a pretty boring guy. I lead a pretty sedate, boring life. The interesting guy would probably be the ex-criminal who's trying to stay straight whose daughter was murdered. That might be the guy you want to lean into. And I remember my first instinct was, oh, that's so cliched. And, and then I was like, no, 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 no. And once I did that, the book became the book. It was switching the focus to Jimmy. They made the book become the book. And, and then I was like, oh, now I know what I'm doing because I've read a bazillion American crime books. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to take your absolute standard American noir crime fiction hero, the guy who solves problems outside the law because the law is ineffectual and have him do every single heroic thing that they do in all those books, and then have him find out at the end he was wrong about everything. I said, that's fucking cool. I'm doing that. And so I leaned in hard to it. And I remember when I finished it, and my wife at the time read it, and she said, A, this is great. And then she said, B, the title of this book could be Everybody Loses. And I was like, yeah, probably. And she goes, 
do you think anybody's going to want to read it? And I was like, no, outside of our families, probably not. But I wrote the book I wanted to write. And that's the greatest feeling in the world when something like that becomes successful, because I never expected Mystic to be a success.